the Ukrainian crisis is one thing, and that is a part of the reason why I've been increasing numbers. But I think that is missing the picture to talk only about the Ukrainian crisis. We had a government minister in Roderick O'Gorman who pledged uh, when he came into office that he would have own door accommodation for asylum seekers or international protection applicants in Ireland. He tweeted that out in 72 languages and promoted it around the world. We have a government that has consistently, as I said a few minutes ago, refused to enforce its own laws about coming here with no documentation. We have created a massive pull factor. A lot of, I mean, the people going into the accommodation in Clare are not Ukrainians. Let's be absolutely clear, nor are the people going into the accommodation in Santry that is causing these problems. Um, and unfortunately, there, there has been this, the government have used the Ukrainian crisis as kind of a battering ram to, igno to, to shut people up about the other crisis, which is vast increases in numbers of people coming from safe countries like Georgia and Moldova, where there is no humanitarian crisis, uh, calling themselves asylum seekers, people coming in here with no documents calling themselves asylum seekers. And then if you criticize it at all, you're told, oh, but Ukraine, or you're told, oh, but you're far right. People have had enough of it. They can see through it. That is why 75% yeah. of people are saying that the country is full. And I don't really know where the other 20% are looking. Yeah. I, I really don't. Uh, for what it's worth, it should be pointed out, you're on national radio criticising it and no one's calling any names. So I'm, No, I, 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 you I, know. I, I, I know. And I respect that. But there's an awful lot of people out there who, who don't fit. I mean, we... we we had uh, there's a column in the Irish Times today, for example, calling people in, you know in the seventy five percent with those concerns, calling them far right or saying they're being swayed by far right rhetoric, and I don't think they are, and that's the point that I'm making. Here's the thing: if the far right, the actual far right, and in inverted commas, end up growing in popularity in Ireland, that isn't because the population have suddenly turned into crypto fascists. It is because very poor government policy has left people with no other avenue and no other spokespeople on their behalf to express their frustration, other than these characters that you consider to be unsavoury, Tom. Of course there are some people in Ireland with unpleasant views about immigrants, and there are, of course there are some people who believe in Ireland for the Irish in inverted commas. But there is a vastly bigger cohort of people. That isn't 75% of the population. 75% mm. of the population are people who really genuinely want to help, but recognise that there's a hard limit on what we can do in the country.